You go online and you note the men who are swiping on you. One guy is shirtless. One guy has a colored mohawk. One guy has a tattoo on his neck. One guy has a handlebar mustache. One guy looks like he was born in the 2000s. Then you read their profiles, all about being chill and hooking up and playing video games and the magic of chemistry. And you think, these are all children. You don't need a boy, you need a man. You need one who's ready to settle down, build a life, be your equal and more. If you're tired of immature fuckboys who are in no way ready to become anyone's husband, this podcast is for you. Stick around. I'm Evan Marquette, dating coach for smart, strong, successful women, and your personal trainer for love. Welcome to the Love You Podcast. Keep listening to discover eight reasons why women are attracted to older men. When we're done, I'll let you know how you could apply to love you and create a passionate relationship where you feel safe, heard, and understood. Last week, I shared eight reasons why women are attracted to younger men, and I was actually pretty proud of them. I think it was a a, a decent list if we're really advocating for the virtues of younger men. Part of me actually convinced myself that younger men were better than older men. But now that I'm an older guy, turning 50 this year. Um, And I started this when I was 31, so that gives you a a sense of perspective. I kind of think that there's a good argument to be made for older men, and I'm I'm glad to be able to take multiple sides of an issue for you. So the counterpoint to why women should like younger men uh, and the reason that younger men are not all that they're cracked up to be, we will explore them right now. Here are eight reasons that older guys rock. Number one, older guys are more anchored. They have careers, not jobs. They own homes instead of living with roommates. They're less likely to pick up and move to a new city or uh, attend grad school cross country when you're dating them. Number two, older guys are smarter. Not necessarily brain capacity, but rather they have so much more life experience and there's no substitute for life experience. And since the human brain isn't really done forming until age 26, it's really hard to expect too much more from younger men. Don't we all know more about life than we did five years ago, 10 years ago? If you look back on that version of yourself, I'm assuming you do, we're all better versions as we get older and men are no different. Number three, Older guys are more secure. When you're young, you're trying your identity on. You're trying to figure out who you're going to be, how you're going to project who you are to the world, especially these days, everything's mediated by social media. Older men know who they are. They don't need to prove it as much. Um, They're less likely to be on social media. They're less likely to freak out about relationship issues because they've been through all of it before. There's nothing under the sun they haven't seen. Number four, older guys are in a better financial position. Sure, there's some older men who've fallen on hard times, but in general, wealth is something that is built over time. And it's much easier for a guy who's been saving money for 20 years to afford a nice car, a nice home, or a nice vacation than a guy who's still on the lower end of the totem pole when it comes to work. No disrespect to younger guys. I have had my struggles as well. Number five, older guys are calmer. Uh, They're less driven by testosterone. They're less likely to get into fights. They're less likely to get drunk and argue with you. They're less likely to cheat on you. They will, in general, be better communicators than younger guys who are prone to more emotional outbursts because they don't yet know themselves and know how to be in a relationship. Number six, older guys are just more chivalrous. If you like a man who calls and plans and pays and opens the car door, makes the first move, takes on the more traditional breadwinning role, look to older guys who were brought up in a world with clearer, older gender roles. I'm not necessarily recommending it, but if you like that kind of thing, um, guys like me were raised in families like that. Um, That's less and less the case these days. And a lot of modern men who are wonderful and more sensitive are kind of confused about their masculinity and their role as men. That 
their behavior is almost indistinguishable from women, you may have noticed. Number seven, older guys are more family oriented. It doesn't mean that they're more loving people necessarily. It's that they don't need the excitement of chasing newer, younger models. They don't need to sleep around any longer. They've seen their friends come and go. They've figured out what's important and it's not working until midnight or going out clubbing or traveling 30 weeks a year. We're more likely to want to be anchored to a family. And number eight, older guys are better in bed. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, and you're more likely to learn how to please a woman if you've had a few decades of practice at it. The message for you with this podcast video and the previous one is that there's strengths and weaknesses to both younger men and to older men. In general, love you and I believe everything in moderation, either finding an uncommonly mature younger man or perhaps a youthful older man, if you're not gonna find someone who's in your age bracket. But chances are finding someone who's within your age bracket is probably gonna be a better bet so you don't have to deal with big generation gaps. But if you like younger men, if you like older men, there's no judgment here. As you can see, there's value in both. So what do you like about older men? Share in the comments below the video and I will see you next week. My name is Evan Mark Katz. Thanks for tuning into the Love You podcast. For more episodes like this on YouTube, click on the subscribe button and ring the bell. Choose all to ensure you get notified when new content comes out. If you're listening to the audio podcast, please share uh, an honest review on Apple. Don't just praise me, really praise me. Because <laughs> more reviews equals more awareness of the Love You podcast and the more women who listen, the more love we can create in the world. And if you want to have an easy relationship that makes you feel safe, heard, and understood, look for the link below or go to, to evanmarkkatz.com to watch my free video on gaining confidence, attracting quality men, and fixing your broken man picker. When you're done, you could apply to Love You Live to join hundreds of other smart, strong, successful women from around the world in a coaching community where women like you actually get the unconditional love you deserve. Two engagements, four boyfriends this week. That's all I'm saying. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.